Hey there, YouTubers, CJ Productions 1996 here, and today um, I'm doing a little review of the Ruger American <clears throat> in chambered in 762 by 39. Um, I put a decent amount of rounds through it now. Uh, it's been several months since I have purchased said rifle, um, and I gotta say, amazing rifle. Um, the trigger pull, amazing. The action, super smooth. Um, just the only downside and problem I have with this rifle is their finish. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> sorry. Now, they. I have the Ruger American in 22 as well as uh, this. And it does not have all these casting flashes. Um, the 22 actually has a beveled edge right here around the uh, ejection slot and like these these corners are just still super super sharp like I, I honestly don't know why they did not finish the rifle correctly I mean the casting flash goes all the way around and it's not super sharp but it's just there and annoying you can clearly feel it you can hear my fingernail it's, it's a pretty large casting flash it's not an unnoticeable thing um, but the 22 version, they fixed that, um, and it's actually really nice. I like the 22 also. That's for squirrels, um, at the house. So, I got, uh, I don't think I had this sling on the last video, um, but I got a Ruger sling. I think that was like 30 bucks, and I got some more magazines. Here's my ammo can. Let me just open it real quick. <clears throat> so, this is my AK mag pouch. I honestly don't know. I think it's for SKS stripper clips or something like that. But uh, I got it on eBay. I love this thing. I use it for my AK, but now I also use it for these Ruger 10 rounders uh, for this. So that's that. I have two 10 rounders and one 5 round that came with it. The five round fits in real nice. I don't have it here. Uh, I'm at the shop right now. Um, the ten rounds are very tight. Like if if I did that, the, the five rounder. If I just do that, the five rounder will pop out. But this, you have to. You got to manhandle this. So that's the the one downside of these magazines, and they're sharp. They don't. The the, the five rounders have a nice plastic base plate. You know, rounded and finished nicely. This is pretty damn sharp. Um, I mean, Ruger's finish, honestly, is subpar, I would consider. Um, I would not send out a, uh, any of our parts here with, with, uh, edges like that. Or like that. You know, you could just knock that down on a belt center in 20 seconds and be done with it. Um, so this is just what I just brought to the range the other day. That's for the target. I shot my... AR also, I might do a video on that. <clears throat> I've still got 20 more rounds. I was just sighting in these optics. I just, um, but I shoot Wolf, um, 122 grain, steel case, non-corrosive. Um, I've got a shit ton of this, so, um, <clears throat> cause it's the cheapest at the gun store. So, this is the, it's actually, why is it so dirty? Jeez. This is the thread protector um, if you do not want a muzzle brake. So, but I have this muzzle brake and it's made by CRB, which is Cross Machine Tool. Uh, that's not the right. Um, that's weird. Okay, but uh, yeah, so I got this sling, got the magazines, got just got this. This is a Nikon Buckmasters 2. It is a 4 to 12 variable zoom scope, and I have Weaver Tactical uh, six screw rings on there. There you see Ruger American. Uh, this does have a bullet drop compensator, which is it's made for like a really weird round. Um, but let me turn this down to four times zoom. I was trying to, to zero this yesterday, but the the mosquitoes were so bad. <clears throat> so let's see. Alright, there you go, we can shoot the boiler room, um, 
Um, there's a weird glare on those reticle, but it does not show up like that when you look through it. But you can see the bullet drop compensator, um, those little dots on the bottom. And that's four times zoom, and let me zoom in into 12, or well, I don't think you'll be able to see 12, it doesn't even like show up, but uh, let's see, yeah, you can't really see anything. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to film this with a phone. There we go. And there's the boiler room. So that is uh, 11 times zoom. So it's a nice optic. I like it. It was $160, um, I think I got it from. I got it from academy.com. Um, and it was 35% off, so with free shipping. So you can't really pass up a deal of that like that. So take these caps off. The uh, the one with their logo goes on the side, then whether or not that matters or not, but um, they actually give you one click left, one click right, uh, seven millimeters at 100 meters, or a quarter inch at 100 yards um, is one click. But most companies just put like right is that way, and you're supposed to know that left is the other way. But I like how they um, gave you both directions. And then the top is down and up, signaled by the D and the U. One click is a quarter inch at 100 yards, and one click is 7 millimeters at 100 meters. So that's good for those of you military guys that still use meters. Um, I know my brother does, which is kind of annoying because this is America. Um, but you know, NATO and all that, whatever. So that's the Buckmasters logo. One goes on the side and that's the blank one goes on top. Um, so it zeroed in pretty decently. Um, it says it has a BBC. I think it has a sticker that you're supposed to take off. I don't know, but patent patented, uh, bullet drop compensator. And it also comes with these nice Nikon caps. Um, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> Looks really slick on there. Um, and it functions really slick on there. So you also got the Ruger logo or emblem. Um, overall, I am happy with this purchase. I, let me check the gun. Uh, or well, it, I checked it. It is empty, but, um, you could see this. This trigger pull. So you got the trigger safety. If you, if you pull on the trigger and it doesn't do anything, you got this trigger safety. Bam. Just like that. Very light trigger pull. This is definitely the, the nicest. Actually, I don't know. My AR has got a pretty light trigger pull too. But I think this is three and a half pounds or it's three pounds. Um, and my AR is three and a half, but it is one of the crispest tr trigger pulls I've. It's beautiful. And then of course you just, and if you want to take the bolt out, that right there, you push on this side and it, it pops up so you can take the bolt out. But I'm not gonna. It's hard to with one hand. Um, this goes. This hangs on my wall right above my door. Um, I like it a lot. It was a very good price. I think it was three something, four hundred dollars um, for a new rifle, a new precision rifle. Um, and now, I mean, there's always more precision. More you can get more precise than this. But for what I'm doing, this is. Certainly good enough for what I, I want to do. Um, just perfect little truck gun, uh, ranch rifle, hence the uh, short barrel. Um, and it's just a beautiful gun. Chambered in 7.62, so um, my AK and this, I only need one kind of ammunition. Um, my brother has the same Ruger American with the, the long barrel. Um, or well, I should say the normal size barrel. This is the short barrel. Um, he has his in two, two, three, so that he, because he's all Mr. AR. He's got like a dozen of them. 
But uh, yeah, um, I like this muzzle brake. It helps a lot. I would be shooting a flame like this big out of the, the end of the barrel if I didn't have that on. Because um, I did shoot this without that. Um, and the only recent addition is this scope. And I took the scope that was on here. Not really a scope, an optic. Um, it's a one to six times. And I said, I was like, eh. it, and it zooms in on the on the reticle, so the reticle is humongous when you're six times zoomed. Um, so I said, well, I might as well just get a nice optic for this rifle because I want to be more precise with it. And uh, this was on sale, and I love Nikon. I'm a big fan of Nikon. Uh, our company here actually does a lot of business with Nikon, so and we do a lot of business with with the Ruger too. So. I'm kind of. This is a a, a culmination of who we uh, who who, who buys stuff from us. Um, but I'm just about to take a file and take knock down all these burrs and take a whirl. Uh, uh, I call it a whirly gig, but a uh, rotary burr and take down the edge on this uh, top of this uh, right there. But uh, yes, yeah, soon I will be getting my pistol permit. Um, I put in all the paperwork, did my fingerprints and all that jazz for New York State because this state blows. Um, and that should be done in a month, they're hoping. Um, and then I'll do, I'll, I, I plan on getting a Glock 19 Gen 5. Because I am a lefty, it is ambidextrous. And I, I know there's other ambidextrous pistols out there. But I just love the feel, the, uh, the, it fits nicely in my hand. <clears throat> I, I went to Texas for the last month and, uh, I, sh I, I put a lot of rounds, more than a thousand rounds through a, a Glock 19 uh, Gen 5, and I liked it a lot. So I'm probably going to carry that at first. And slide serrations, the whole nine, stippling and all that jazz. Um, I'll probably do all that here in our, in our shop on the mill, uh, the slide serrations at least. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to do a review of my AR because it is New York legal. So... Um, not really worried about that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, a couple of you did want this video of what it is like uh, after I've put some rounds through it. And um, I like it. I, I'm still happy with this purchase. Um, maybe I'll take some video of it at the range. But it's hard without a camera. I have only my iPhone. Maybe I'll get another camera. But I, I kind of got away from doing YouTube videos because... Um, on my laptop is a piece of junk and it takes forever to upload things. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and, uh, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, and I think you can even lighten this trigger up. Um, there is a adjustment screw inside. They give you the paperwork and they tell you how to do it, uh, when you buy the rifle. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.